Let's talk gear rate 2. It is useful to know that tanks take reduced damage in gear rate 2 compared to a fighter for example even if they have the same gear. This is especially useful when taking hits from the golden guards. You pretty much want to use tanks, fighters and you need 2 or 3 healers. Up to and including stage 17 I could use 2 healers only. For stage 18 I needed to use 3 healers. You also need some sort of a damage deal or two to clear the rest of the monsters. There are a few heroes which are very useful in gear rate 2 who are worth mentioning. One of them is Volker. If you have Volker A1, she reduces allies revival time by 25% which can be very useful when recalling your heroes or when they die. Another hero who is very useful is Decimus. He's a rare so everybody should have it really. What he has is when HP drops to zero, the hero remains alive and can use to fight for 8 seconds when skilled up. Any heroes that has some sort of a persist death mechanic is actually really good for gear rate 2. But what makes this one especially good is his short revival time, which is only 18. I wouldn't say they're a must have hero, but if I had to mention one that would be Decimus. So make sure you lock one copy of him. Other heroes that can be useful are Baron with his unyielding skill, Vortex who is a HP based healer and he would have easier time to survive in there, Procure who also has a passive when receiving fatal damage, he is immune to all damage for 9 seconds, I also use Abomination, his passive when HP draws below 50% gains invulnerability. If two golden guards hit him at the same time, this would not activate, but you can do a little trick where you can make one of the guards hit you first, activate that passive and then he will take the hit from the second one and survive if you need him to. But you don't need to have the exact heroes, especially on the lower stages, you can try using low cost tanks with little to no gear just so they can take the hits from the golden golems. Stages 1 to 9 you're probably not going to have any problems but just in case I'm going to show you my stage 9 run and I don't even remember what heroes I use but let's see. So you need to block these two lanes, the golden guards or golems or whatever they are, you need to block them. If you have healers and your fighters or tanks are strong enough, they, they wouldn't even die. And tanks, as I said before, they take less damage from the golden guards. So I place two healers, one on the left, one on the right, which would make sure that everybody survives. And then here you can actually use a lot of ranged heroes. When you start doing the stages in red, you can pretty much use the same setup from stage 10 to 18. The map does change slightly, but that does not affect your strategy. You pretty much use the same positioning. So now I'm going to show you my stage 18 run. Also one more thing I forgot to mention before is for stage 18 I needed to use an extra healer just so my other two healers don't die at the start. I always use Decimus first because of his short revival time. In this stage you have more room for error so I think you can use multiple different fighters and tanks to deal with the monsters. Also these ranged, ranged guys they will try to hit your uh, healer, so that's why you need more healers to keep them alive. Here used Volka for the extra healing. And that's it. Ola can also be very useful. You get him for free and he's a great tank so you should be building him anyways. Stage 19 is where things get a bit more difficult because the boss gets a new skill called Golem Shriek. And your hero is most likely not going to survive it unless you have a special strategy including maybe Sadie as a healer. I'm not using Sadie so I'm relying on recalling heroes just before the Golem Shriek and I'll show you the run now. Here use only one healer because you'll be recalling your heroes anyway. I use Zillitu first 
and then recalling her. Now here's how I use uh, decimals. When you use them like this, you can use abomination to survive the both hits, even though I recall them straight after, but at least I get some of the cost back. Hex is who deals with the rest of the monsters, and then I recall them. Now I, again, Desmos and Brookia this time. And now I'm putting Zilli to and Hex together so they can clear everything quickly. Now this was a very close call. Just in time I put Desmos. And maybe I could even improve the run as my Hex died, but I still managed to beat him. I wouldn't say Gear Ray 2 is harder than the rest, but it's definitely different. You rely mostly on strategy. I hope you found a few things useful. That's it for me and have a good day.